Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue class 10 science. This is practice paper number 3, part A physics and this is the part 1. So now let us uh, see what are the questions that will be in part 1 of part A physics. The color of the sky is blue because dispersion of blue, blue light, reflection of blue light, atmosphere of the earth absorb blue light, color of the sky itself blue. So the right answer is due to scattering of light or dispersion of light. So for this question, option A, option A that is dispersion of, dispersion of blue light. So dispersion of blue light. So now let us move for the second question. The second question is the gas is present uh, present predominantly in uh, biogas is hydrogen, nitrogen, methane and oxygen. So among this the right answer is option C methane. Option C methane. So now let us move for the second main. So in the second main that is third question. What is minimum visual distance they have given? So the minimum visual distance is 25 centimeter. So minimum is 25, maximum is infinity. So now let us move for the third main. So let us see what is there in the third main. So that is fourth question. What is uh, farsightedness? What is farsightedness? How can this be fixed? So let us see what is farsightedness. So a def that is a defect of eye. Farsighted means a defect of eye in which a person can see a person can see far object. A person can see far object clearly but not but not the near object but not the near object then uh, why it is like this because due to longer focal length because of due to longer focal length and the second one is eyeball become eyeball become too small eyeball become too small so how can we correct this one by using by using suitable convex lens so by using convex lens we can correct this defect so this is for fourth question now let us move for the fifth question the storage and disposal of nuclear waste is very dangerous why so let us answer fifth question now so why we should focus on the storage and disposal of nuclear waste the first reason is it causes it causes radioactive pollution it causes radioactive pollution it it affects the environment it affects the environment if the radiation if the radiation if the radiation gets leakage it causes it causes skin cancer and leukemia and it causes it causes premature cataract due to this one 
so storage and dispose of uh, uh, that is uh, storage and dispose of uh, nuclear waste so for that one we have to care if, if suppose if you don't care it so these are the things that will happen so now let us move for the sixth question so the sixth question is the why should we focus on alternate source of energy so why, why we have to use alternate sources of energy first one the available the available natural resource the available natural resource is limited one second one due to more population due to more population third one energy demand is more energy demand is more but production is less energy demand is more but production is less then that is uh, fossil fuels fossil fuels availability fossil fuels availability is limited therefore we have to go for alternate source of energy such as solar energy wind energy uh, therm uh, ocean thermal energy like that like this like that we have to go for different sources of alternate source of energy so now let us move for the next question that is uh, draw a neat picture of human eye and identify iris retina and cornea so seventh one is diagram So now let us move for the uh, eighth question. So what is the eighth question? What is refraction of light? The star appears uh, in that one only one more question. The star appears to twink to be twinkle during night time. Give reason. So uh, first let us see what is meant by refraction of light. So what is refraction of light? The phenomenon of the phenomenon of bending of light the phenomenon of bending of light when light travels from when light travels from one medium to when light travels from one medium to another medium when light travels from one medium to another medium that is called refraction of light next question is the star appears to twinkle during night time why so for this one let us answer when a light coming from when a light coming from star when a light coming from star enters enters the earth's atmosphere enters the earth atmosphere it undergoes it undergoes atmospheric refraction it undergoes atmospheric refraction an account of this an account of an account of varying varying refractive index account of varying refractive index of year at different at different points at different points the continuously the continuously changing 
the continuously changing atmosphere refracts refracts the light so refracts the light from a star light from a star appears to be appears to be twinkle therefore the star will twinkle during night time so like this we have to answer these questions so in this video we have answered all the questions related to part a physics in the next video in part 2 we are going to answer for chemistry thanks for watching my youtube channel still those who are not subscribed please subscribe my channel those who already subscribed please watch my videos like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video so once again thank you very much for your great support